I'm gonna do this maze tutorial. Welcome to Arcade. Let's get started by creating a game where your player tries to get out of a maze while there is still time. Okay. The first thing we'll do is make our player. Find the set my sprite to in sprites, drag it on to start. Click on the gray box and set my sprite to and draw your player's image. Okay, you could draw it here, or you could go into the gallery and choose something. All right, there's my person. Now let's make our sprite figure move with the controller arrow keys. Get a move my sprite with buttons from controller. Put it under set my sprite to, so I will move my character with buttons. Next, create a tile map that will serve as your maze. Pull set tile map to from scene and to on start, click on the gray box to open a tile map, select tiles and use the tools to draw your own maze. Be sure to leave a path from start to end so the user can escape. Leave an empty tile in both the start and end location. So go in here, set tile map to. So I can use any of these. Ooh. So I'm gonna use this to make a path. So said so to leave one empty space. So I've made my path using this tile and I'm going to fill in the rest of the spaces with this flower picture, except whatever I want at the end. I have finished my tile map. I have a path that the character can walk on. I left it blank in two places like it told me to. So I am done. For this step, fill in the two empty spaces in the tile map that you left in the previous step with two new tiles. One that looks like something you can escape with, for example, a door or stairs, and the other was something to mark the starting location, for example, a ladder. Make sure these tiles aren't used anywhere else in the tile map. Okay, so I go back to my tile map. I need to make a new tile. So from my tiles, I'm gonna click the plus, and I'm going to make this look like stairs. So I made one tile map to look like stairs and I need to make another one that looks like a ladder. Now I am finished with my ladder. So I'm going to put my ladder where I start, right there, and I'm gonna put the stairs where I decided to make my finish line be, my finish spot, right there. Done. Make sure these tiles aren't used anywhere else in the tile. Fine, place my sprite on top of random in scene and drag it onto on start after set tile map two. So place my sprite on top of. This will move the character you created to be on top of one of the selected tiles. Click on the checkered tile and select the tile you chose as your starting point. That would be my ladder. The player is now off screen, which makes the game a bit too hard. Find camera, follow my sprite and scene and drag it to the end of on start. This will make the camera follow the player's character if it moves around the screen. Next. Oh, and look, there's my character at the beginning of my maze. Find on sprite of kind player overlaps at location in scene. So on sprite of kind player overlaps. This event will occur whenever the player is on top of a tile of a given type. Click the checkerboard box and change it to the tile selected for the end of the maze. That's my stairs. Find game over lose in game. Drag it into the on sprite of kind player overlaps at location. Click, to, click lose and change it to win. This will make it so the player wins when they touch the exit. Find start countdown 10 seconds and in info, drag it to on start. All right, I don't know if 10 seconds is gonna be enough for my maze. I guess we will see. Next. 
You now have a game with a target and a time crunch, but the player can move through all the walls. Reopen the tile map editor and use the draw walls tool to draw walls all over the things that should block a player in the tile map so they can't move through them. So I need to go into my tile map, click on the wall, and cover everything that I don't want the player to walk through. This might take a while. I have a So I have left the path blank, but I've clicked on the wall above gallery and I've covered up all the parts that are kind of like a wall or like a hedge, areas where I don't want my character to walk. And now I am done. So now my maze is complete. When I go to play the game, I can move my character around. I don't see where I'm supposed to end. Oh, now I do. I'm too slow. I might have to change it. 10 seconds might not be enough. Go up. Yeah, I might have to change mine to 30 seconds. Have fun writing the code for this game. I know you guys are gonna be super creative and I can't wait to see what you come up with.